Come on, you can turn off if we win. Let's rock and roll, baby. Let's go. Going to Vanderbilt, coming off a loss, tough loss, uh, certainly one that uh, stung, but uh, we know in our league you got to shake it off and get ready to go again because no one's going to feel sorry for you. Um, so that's what we've been doing. Vanderbilt, uh, very, uh, very good team. Coach Franklin has done a superb job with that program. Um, of course, last time we were there, it was a uh, very heated game, uh, very close game, and thankfully we came out of there with a victory. You know, definitely with, with any team, you, you try to eliminate the explosive plays, and that's really being key on your assignments, and that's what we're going to have to do this week. They run a 4-3, or sometimes a 3-down lineman. Uh, we just started like this week. I, they had two weeks to prepare for us, so we just got to keep grinding and keep going to work this whole week and get ready to play, uh, play them at 11 o'clock in Nashville. I mean, they're a great team. You know, they, uh, they play hard and play fast, and uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a full week of preparation to get ready for them. And, uh, you know, we just got to work hard this week and, uh, you know, do what we got to do to go out there and win. You know, they, they have a lot of, you know, athletes on the perimeter. You know, you, you know about Jordan, but they also have other receivers that can make plays too. And at the same time, they have explosive running backs. So, you know, it's trying to contain all those guys and, and play assignment football. Well, it's a unique relationship in that uh, my 12 student managers, each one of my managers is designated to a position coach. So that coach has a student manager with him at all times during practice and as well during the game. Uh, you've probably seen some of the guys holding towels up to kind of block uh, from someone stealing signals. But it's really kind of a symbiotic relationship between the coaches and my staff. Um, you know, they need us and we need them. My favorite thing is when I walk out to practice and I see something I'm about to go correct or I'm about to go pick up and one of my guys that I've trained is already on his way over there to do it before I even have to say something, uh, which is about where we're at right now during the season. I can usually think by about the fifth or sixth game we've got it all figured out. Like I said, I've got 12 student managers and uh, Kevin Purvis is my assistant and he uh, He's real big about helping me with, uh, with teaching these kids what to do and what we expect and you know how to hustle and, and uh, how to work with the football team. Because um, that's the big thing is you've got to show a sense of urgency for me. I don't like anyone that walks around on the football field. So that's, uh, that's one of the things we have to stress to them is work ethic and uh, just where to be at all times. <laughs> So usually on Thursday, um, Thursday's a big day that we load the truck. So we take all the trunks that we worked on on Wednesday and all the helmets that we worked on on Tuesday. and We start loading those up on our truck on Thursday and so that we're ready to go. Usually by Thursday night after practice, that truck is ready to, ready to roll. It's always tougher when you don't know exactly you know, what the layout of the locker room is going to be like, where you're going to put your offense, where you're going to put your defense. Some, some places don't have enough room for the coaches to dress, so we've got to, you kind of got to makeshift uh, a coach's locker room somewhere outside of the, uh, the locker room that they've got for you. It's just, it's a challenge every week, but um, it's definitely easier when you've been, uh, been to a place before and you're familiar with it, as opposed to one that, you, that you've never been to before. But it really has been a lifelong dream to work at the University of Georgia.